Hey, what's going on YouTube? Rob Parker's Fishing World, back again with another video. Today, guys, the first video of 2021. I just wanted to come with a catch and cook for you guys. Today, we're going to be heading up to Palmer Lake number two. Uh, I'm going to test out my new rod, try to catch some brook trout to eat. Uh, it's a Frey Bill 28 inch medium light. Got it paired up with my Shimano Sienna 500 size reel, four pound fluorocarbon line, and just some little tungsten jig heads. I'm going to be tipping that with a uh, gold minnow, one inch gold minnow. So let's head up there, guys. I got to walk up the hill. It's like a 45 minute hike to the lake. But let's head down there, guys, and see if we can catch some fish to eat. Come along with me. Got this chartreuse shag gulp down here. Wind's picking up real, real bad. Here it comes. He's looking at it. Coming back up again. Put it right back down. Here comes another one. Eat it. And that time, don't get the reducer. I got brook trout rice. All right. First eater brook trout. I think I'm gonna keep two. I don't know. Cat and mouse with him there for a minute. Kept coming up and looking at it and looking at it. I'll throw him over here on the ice because we're gonna keep two. Nice brook trout. I'm over in the shade, so you guys probably can't see that good, but just don't look real nice. Got a few little marks down low right there, but. Here he comes, here he comes. He got on. He's got it. Nice. Very next drop. Ooh, okay. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. Weird shaped one right here. Really weird shaped one. Hold on, bro. Going back, look how weird this one is shaped. Let me get a shot of this one. All right, guys, here's that brook trout. Let's get her back. Turn around. You good. There she goes. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Eat it. Let's try it on. Eat it, eat it. He's right on. I'm gonna do some. All I'm gonna do some. Oh, nice book out. Nice. All right. It's pretty swing of the day right there. Let me get my hands. Hang on, dude. Hang on, bro. And this is my second eater right here. And then I'm not gonna keep any more, but this one's all typed up. Let me get the gold out of his mouth. There it is. Look at this one. Let's get over here in the sun where you guys can see it. We'll get a shot of it. I'll throw it over here on the ice. Shot in real quick, right here. All right, guys, here's this one. Let's throw them right here. Biggest one I've caught today. Get back down there and see if we can catch some more just for fun now. Got my two keepers. Come on. There's a high mark. Here he comes. Here he comes. Eat it. Got on it. Got a bricky. Ooh, came off right at the hole. Okay, that's the second one I've missed at the hole. All right. 
gonna drill another hole over here to my left. Let's keep fishing. All right, hopefully the sun glare ain't too bad over here. Drop down. Everything's freezing. Everything's racing up. Got it. Nice. Stay on, baby. Let me get my deuce. Nice. Hold on, bro. Hang on, bro. Hang on, bro. Hang on. All in my deuce, sir. Hold on, guys. <laughs> He's tripping. I think I'm going to keep him, too. I think I'm just going to keep three. I think I'm just going to keep three. Might fish for about another, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or something. I'll have a whole lot more time, but nice brook trout. Let's throw him over here in the pile and get down there and see if we can catch maybe one more. And then we're getting out of here. As soon as I drop down over here, boom. I think I got some more marks. As soon as this jig got down there, he was already he was racing up to it. Hopefully I can salvage this gulp. Don't think so, nope. <laughs> Get about one fish per gulp. Try to find the straightest one in the bag. The juice the juice in these bags spills out, so it spilled out in my tackle bag, of course. Marking some more fish down there. All right, guys, let me get this baited up and we'll drop back down and see if we can get another one. Literally don't, ain't marking nothing else. Something real small down by the bottom, but. Some more aggressive jigs, maybe try to call one in. Oh, yeah, here he is. Got it. Nice, that worked. Get up here. All right. Nice. Hang on, buddy. Beautiful one. Hang on, let me wet my hands, buddy. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, bro. My, my hands are wet. Beautiful. Beautiful brook trout. Let me wet my other hands. Get you guys a shot of this thing. Hang on, buddy. Nice brook trout. All right, guys, let's get that brook trout back. See you later, buddy. Shoo, took off. Two or three of them came in. Finally. Come on. Oh, it came off. Wow. <sighs> Pretty frustrating day. Think I'm gonna end on that fish, even though I didn't catch him. <sighs> All right, guys. So the day was been pretty slow. Let's uh, grab our three fish that we got right here and go ahead and head to the house and get them cleaned up and we'll get this catch and cook going. All right guys, back here at the house. So I went ahead and gutted them, cut some little slits in them, cut the heads off. Already got them pretty much prepared. So now I gotta get an egg whisk, get some uh, some milk in there as well. Let's do two eggs. My oil's over here already pretty much hot. Let's whisk those up and put some milk in there with it, guys. And then we'll keep it going. They're good and whisked. All right, guys, let's add the milk. About that much. Should be enough to cover it. Let me just mix those in together. And that's what we're gonna soak the fish in. I'm gonna put this over in a Ziploc bag and put the fish over in there. All right, guys, we got this uh, gallon Ziploc bag. Go ahead and get the egg and milk poured over in here. Just like that. And we're just gonna throw all our fish in here. 
one, two, and three. All right, let's shake those around a little bit, and then we'll get the batter made up. Gonna shake them around, get them nice and covered. All right, should be good enough. All right, let's get the batter made. All right, guys, got this other gallon Ziploc bag. What we're gonna do with it is I got some flour here. I'll pour this flour straight in. And then probably put maybe half of this Louisiana fish fry in there. So half of it or so. And then just pour some salt and pepper in there. Just kind of eyeball it. Some pepper in there. Put some salt in there. Not good. All right, I'm going to shake all that around. Probably that's enough to cover the fish. I might have to make some more, but I might have to throw some more flour in there, but I think that'd be good to cover them all. So let's get the fish over in there. All right, guys, let's get our, get our fish over in the batter. This is where it gets a little messy. Take one and throw them directly in there. I'm just kind of toss them around. She's getting good and covered. Can get it on the inside and stuff too. I'll go ahead and take him out. Lay him on this plate. And then repeat the next fish. So I'll get back to you guys after I get all these battered. And we'll throw them in the hot grease. All right, guys, got them all battered up here. Let's go ahead and get them in the grease. Oh, yeah, definitely ready. Might be a little even too hot. Oh, there we go. Ain't gonna take them long. I'm only gonna have to be able, I'm only gonna be able to do two at a time, but. It ain't gonna take them very long at all to cook. Another plate to cook them on once they come out. I'm only cooking them on six, but not cooking them on high or anything. I mean, they're gonna be super crispy too. All right, I'll get back to you guys when I'm taking them out. Uh, I gotta put that other one in there too, so. Ooh, looking crispy too. Crispy fried brook trout. Go ahead and take this one out. Go ahead and take both of these out. Pretty crispy. Pretty crispy. Throw this other guy in. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna take him very long either. So let me cook this one, guys. We'll get him out, and we'll go in here and try it. All right, now it's gonna be good. All right, let's take this one out. I think it's about ready too. Oh yeah, looks pretty good. Let's go in here and eat it. All right, guys, <clears throat> let's try this brook trout, fried brook trout. See if it's any good. Never really had brook trout fried before, but a nice little chunk. Pretty good. That batter turned out super crispy. 
try this one right here. I should put me up a table right here. Oh yeah, that's good right there. Pretty nice little piece. That's pretty good. It'll take me a minute to eat all three of these, but. It's pretty damn good. But I hope you guys like the video. I'm just gonna sit here and eat the rest of my fish, but I hope you guys like the video. Way more videos are coming, guys. Way more ice fishing videos coming. Maybe more catching cooks in the future. I'm, like I said, I'm just going to sit here and eat the rest of this fish. But other than that, it's been Rob Parker's Fishing World. Peace.